What's going on everyone, Aaron James Nahara here and I've got two Steam Deck cases to unbox with you guys. I got them both for Christmas and by the way, I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday season. My family and I had a great day yesterday. So when I was filling out my Elfster Christmas list um, for my family, I put this case originally on my list and it, this is the BJWW kickstand from Amazon it's $17.63 right now and you can get a $5 coupon off so you can get it for like 12 bucks pretty good deal anyways though the main draw for me on this case was the kickstand I thought the case design looked pretty cool with all the vent holes and everything like that but I was mainly interested in the kickstand I've already got the thumb pad covers and things like that um, but when I was browsing the Steam Deck subreddit, I came across someone's post who had this case. And I was like, dude, that's sick. It's got a kickstand. It's got all the vent holes and everything like that. But it's also got this front plate that kind of goes over and protects it, which is pretty sweet. So I put this one on my list and someone else got it for me. So now I have two cases that I need to figure out which one I'm going to like the best. Well, let's go ahead and get unboxing here. I've got my Steam Deck here all ready to go. For those of you guys who see my other videos, this is the original D-Brand skin that I put on it. It's this green camo, which I still really like. I like it, but as you know, it's just a skin. It doesn't protect from any falling damage or anything like that. Um, and then of course, there's no built-in kickstand. So that was mainly the reason why I really wanted these cases. For those of you guys who do have a Steam Deck, you guys know this case. This is the original case that comes with it. And it's very sturdy. It's very high quality. I do like this little cubby hole back here. I know this is, you know, intended for the power cord or whatever, but I use it for my headphones. These are the, the Sony Link Buds S, which are amazing for the Steam Deck. But anyways, I put my headphones back there in the case and there I'm pretty content with it so let's move this out of the way and let's go ahead and start with case number one this is the BJWW kickstand $17 right now with the $5 coupon 12 bucks all right let's go ahead and open this up enough vents all around protection waterproof um excuse me BJWW how many vents does your case have enough enough <laughs> puts the marking materials on these boxes. There's enough vents. All right, so um, it's pretty plain in there. It's just literally a plastic wrap and you just, that's it. Plastic wrap protecting case. Um, all right, so first off, we got these little peripherals here. So these are the little thumbstick protectors. I never used them yet. Um, some like carbon fiber pads for your, um, for your mouse pads all right let me see these real quick these actually might come in handy i don't know if you guys experienced this but mainly on my left one i have a lot of like it's like it's kind of grayish and ashy in there it's probably all dead skin cells and things like that so maybe i'll use these i mean that's not bad that's not it definitely makes it look a lot bigger let me see here put that on what the heck oh they're different design did i miss one there's only three did one roll away yeah one rolled away okay all right so we got these other ones real quick but let me show you real quick so these are different designs this one has like a bunch of specs in here this one just has the up down left right so i guess it's like to tell which one is which but that's pretty comfortable i think i would i think i would use these covers honestly I've got, I've got some for my Xbox controller and I've gotten used to that feel. So yeah, these aren't bad, these little covers. Let me try on these other ones real quick. All right. Wow, these are huge. These are huge, bro. Okay, I don't know what design goes on which thumbstick, but I've got the, the four here and I've got the one with all the specs here, but Bro, look at look at look how huge these are coming off the body. That's big. Ooh, that's a little bit more convenient in a way. Is that what it's supposed to be? Just more convenient having your thumbs raised like that? Look at that. That is insane. Let me let me pop one of these. Keep this one on and then I'll put the smaller one on. You guys can see the difference. There we go. Look at that difference. Wow, so I guess that's kind of cool. Like you can use it like custom 
like have a different if you want one elevated and one short whatever works better for your thumb that's pretty dope okay i appreciate that and then these little guys are for what oh these are for the back buttons i don't know if you can see that on the package there see that right there that little grippy thing so these go on the back buttons all right they go on these ones right here that's cool hey i might i might try that out but i don't want to i don't want to put these on right now because it's 3m and just in case i'm gonna end up returning this case i don't want to ruin it or anything like that so let's go ahead and take this out all right so here's the case let's just go ahead and look at it right here you know nice design um the feel of the plastic is textured it's very thick plastic and very um bendable flexible that's the word i'm looking for got a honking power button right there um some honking volume rockers all right let's let's throw this on the steam deck let me let me pop out the kickstand real quick all right there it is and we'll stand that up Whew, that's what i want i want this kickstand all right we're gonna pop this down how do we do that oh you just you just push on it okay you just pull it out hear it click and then push down down all right let's go ahead and put this in now i am a little worried that with putting on the case and take it off might damage my my d-brand skin which be, would be a bummer because if you've put on a d-brand skin it takes a lot to freaking get on so let me see i don't want to i don't want to mess up my skin all right probably insert it from the top all right now that's clicking in clicking in all right, it's clicked in. We're good to go. Look at that. Let me show you with it on. It definitely makes the Steam Deck a little bit thicker while you're holding it in your hands. But I got to say, I love the feel of the grips on the side. It definitely feels very comfortable. You can definitely notice when you're when you've got your fingers on the back triggers, your your pointer fingers kind of rest on the case here. So it definitely comes up quite a bit. I don't think that's going to be a big problem but when i do hit the triggers my fingers are hitting the case here so that's i don't know if that's going to affect your gameplay you just got to scoot your hands back there you go and then also up here when you when you lift your fingers up your your fingers are going to kind of hit the side i kind of already noted on my unboxing video with the steam deck that there's just such a there's such a reach with your finger to get to the top bumper but you definitely, you're gonna hit the side here on the case when you're doing that. But then again, I don't know how that's gonna affect your gameplay. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal, but it's just something to note. We got the 3.5 millimeter jack. Let's go ahead and just plug in something to make sure that, yep, okay, cool. So the 3.5 millimeter jack hole wide enough for your headphones. Um, let's go ahead and just turn it on with the power button. Okay, that was kind of a fail. So I, I pushed it down like normal and it didn't go. Okay, you gotta you gotta push down hard on the power button to to make it wake up. You gotta you gotta use extra effort to click this button here. So that's one thing to note. Um USB C there looks looks like there's a there's plenty of, of uh access room there for your cord. Just for fun, let's go ahead and plug in a USB C. All right, that's no problem whatsoever. And then did that and then volume rocker. Let's, let's use the volume rocker real quick. Um, Not as bad, not as bad on the effort as the power button. I think it's a little bit more responsive than the power button. Let's go ahead and engage the kickstand here. There it is. It's what I want. It's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. All right, let's let's play let's play a couple seconds. Okay, so 
let me switch it here my big thing just right off the bat with this casing is these these little portions right here of the case i don't know how to put this it, it just feels thicker and a further reach for my my pointer fingers when i'm when i'm playing my game it just shoots out outward words like this and it feels like it's pushing my fingers away yeah right here it just kind of juts out a little bit and it just makes it thicker there and maybe it's just something i gotta get used to playing the game or playing um, on my steam deck with this case but it might be a small sacrifice for the kickstand but let's go ahead and open up the second case shall we let's let's do that okay here we go let's, let me sleep my deck Ugh, gotta give that extra effort go ahead and take out the deck we'll go from the bottom first the middle portion or not maybe from the side <laughs> oh all right Come on out, you. Urgh. Give me my Steam Deck. Oh, it, it freaking popped my SD card out. Is that good? I don't think that's good. While sleeping? Do I go from the top first then? Uh oh. Okay. Popped it out on the bottom. Let's do the same. Let's do the same on the other side. There. All right if if i had if there were some skin portions right here from my from my d brand skin i feel like it would have ripped it off that's why i didn't want to go from the top but looking at the skin at the top it looks fine oh yeah it got messed up down here oh shoot my d brand skin got messed up right here on this corner it's puffed up a little bit all right maybe i could be more careful shocks all right let's Let's do the other case. All right, here we go. We're opening up case number two. This one has a kickstand and it also has this front little protective face for your Steam Deck. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Let's get this one out of the way. Make sure we're in focus here. All right. This box is a little bit bigger. Um, again, it has enough vents all around protection and it's waterproof. Water, waterproof, like I can throw this in the ocean and it would be okay. You might want to change your phrasing there. Maybe like water resistant. Oh, there it is. All right. This is, uh, this is definitely a different plastic feel. This one, this one has more of like a rougher texture. This one's a lot more slick, but it still feels like some strong plastic. All right, let's take this off. So there you can see it's got this big old grippy boy down here. You just unclip this plate, set it aside. And this one does not have any different thumb grip peripherals, does not have any skins or pads or anything like that. Um, these vent holes are sliced up and down. Um, here's the kickstand. Let's go ahead and pop this puppy open. There we go. Pretty solid. Just close it nice yeah it's a it's a lot slicker i think it feels more normal to what it, uh, a normal steam deck grip would feel like on the device it's just it's nice and slick and smooth whereas the other case was more textured this one will make it feel will emulate this one will emulate the feel of a steam deck let's go ahead and pop this in we're gonna go from the top first because we don't want to mess up the beautiful D brand skin. All right. And then we're going to slide in the sides here. Ooh, this one, this one might be a challenge here, boys. Ooh, it's a little tight too. Oof. Wow. I don't know how we're going to get this in. Maybe like this one side at a time. Oh, there we go. That's the way from side to side. Oh boy. I'm going to freaking, I am going to ruin my, my skin. Here we go. Let's pop this bad boy in here. Oof. Give it a good old stretch over the top there. All right, now we just need to put this in. Sorry guys, if I'm out of camera. All right, there we go. Almost, oh, it's caught on my skin. It's caught on my skin. Wait, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's caught on, on the skin. All right, there we go, it's on. Like a glove. Oh, frick, I just 
ruined my D brand skin. Look at that. See that? I took one for the team right there, boys. If you have a D brand skin, maybe getting a case may not be the move. Crap. Okay. Well, anyways, on with the review here. Um, from the get go, it feels very slick. It feels nice. The the pointer fingers, they're not they're not affected by the grip like like the other one. It, fe it feels a lot more natural. Yeah, it, it feels better here on the triggers. Let's go ahead and push it on the seat. A little bit better with the effort. Not as stiff as the other one. All right, that's that was pretty easy. Um, it looks like the same amount of clearance for the USB-C and the 3.5 millimeter jack, but just for fun, let's go ahead and plug it in. Good, plugged in. Let's do 3.5 millimeter jack. That's good. Let's do volume. That's good. Nice and easy. Not as much effort as the other one takes. That's for sure. And uh, let's let's just play a little bit of Hades, shall we? All right, let's do some damage, boys. Oh, I'm at the, the boss. All right, this um, feels and plays better than the other one for sure, especially on the trigger fingers. Gotta, I gotta say, it's a, it's a pretty noticeable difference. It's a pretty noticeable diff. Oh, shucks, I'm getting lit up. I wonder if I can do this right now with you guys. Can I just beat these guys right now? I have six, six health left. I killed one. Oh. If you have not picked up Hades yet for the Steam Deck, I highly recommend you do. It's a great game for the deck. We did it. We did it, boys. Let's put on the kickstand. Nice. Nice. Feels good. Feels good. All right. Let's add the last element, which is the front plate cover. All right. Look at this thing. This is going to go from the top. Put it over the triggers. Put it over the triggers first, then clip it down. There you go over the triggers first and there you go i would not say that this is waterproof i mean sure the material is but you definitely don't want to submerge it <laughs> um there you go it's kind of cool protect your thumbsticks nice i'm not gonna throw this on the ground okay it's cool but my only thing is is i don't really need this right because i've got i've got this if you wanted to do away with this you could just put on the side and now your steam deck lives in this forever that's cool especially since it's got a little kickstand and then when you want to go and play it's already the case is on already so you don't need a i don't need to do the whole process of putting on the case again it's just ready to play right right away so i think that's a cool benefit of this if if, if you are interested in, in just you know putting the putting this case away and you don't need that honking case and you just want to roll with this one i think that's pretty cool now one thing that's holding me back though about this is where am i going to put my headphones and i guess i could i guess i could just put my headphones like in my drawer or just leave it on my desk and grab it when i need it but i kind of like the convenience of of uh my headphones being with my case oh crap that just slipped that that literally was the first time it ever slipped out by the way i i like the convenience of my of my my earbuds here and my my kate my deck in here and there's no way that a deck with a case could fit in here Definitely not. Now I got to figure out which one I like the best. Do I like the clamshell one where your Steam Deck would just live in this case forever? And I could see people going this route. Or do I want the other case where it comes with the different thumbstick rubbers, the skins, 
and an easier case to get your Steam Deck in and out of. Let me see how easy it is to get my Steam Deck out of this one, all right? Let's go ahead and see this here. Oh man, this is uh, this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Okay, we should go from the top first. I think I'm, I'm thinking we should go from the top. So let's go from the top, slowly sliding it off, not to get caught on the skin. I just wrecked my skin. All right, good thing there's no skin on like that the back part of the triggers. All right, let's take this off. There we go. Top portion is off. And then. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. No. Let's just fold you down. All right. I'm going to have to take my, my blow dryer to it later on. From what just happened here, I'm probably not going to go with this one. All right, one more thing, just real quick. I want to see if this case, this this protective case will fit inside of the OG case that comes with the Steam Deck, all right? Let's, let's see. I have a feeling this might actually work. Let's see here. Dude, if this would work, you know how convenient that would be? I don't have to keep taking off the case. All right, here we go. All right. So it looks seated. It looks like it's possible. All right, here we go. Let's lift this up. All right. All right, let me show you guys. Let me show you. All right, this looks good. Let's go ahead and zip. Oh my gosh. It fits. The Steam Deck with the case fits in the case. Do you see this chat? Do you see this people? Holy mackerel. This is the ultimate combo. I can use the OG case with the protective case with a D brand skin and a kickstand. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, viewers of the video, I believe I've made my choice and congratulations to BJWW Kickstand Protective, $17.63 with a $5 coupon on Amazon. You are the winner. Can I get some W's in the chat, in, in the comments, the chat, W's in the comments, please, for BJWW. Um, it looks like I'm going to roll with this one here. Now, because yesterday was Christmas and we've got a new year rolling around, I've decided that I'm going to be giving away in the Hong Hao Steam Deck case with a clamshell front protective here on YouTube. I'm going to be giving this case away starting today or whenever this video goes live in order to enter this giveaway. I will give you some rules. They will be down in the, the description and you need to be subscribed to this channel and you need to type happy new year W in the comments all right in order to enter the giveaway you need to be subscribed to this youtube channel and you need to type happy new year w in the comments below in order to be entered into the giveaway all right everyone who's done that your name will be entered into a big spinning wheel and let's see how long do i want this giveaway to go for let's see next week is new year so why don't we shoot for January 16th? The giveaway will end. You need to be subscribed to this YouTube channel and you need to type Happy New Year with a big fat W in the comments in order to be entered for this giveaway. Um, I will be shipping it internationally, okay? I don't care freaking where you live. I will send this out to you, all right? For those of you guys who do have Steam Decks, this case is up for grabs, international. I will send it out to you by US priority mail. And uh, that's it, all right? Be sure to be subscribed to this channel. Comment down below, Happy New Year W. And I hope you like this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Happy New Year to you all. Merry belated holidays, Christmas, whatever you celebrate. I appreciate you all. We've got new videos coming down the pipeline very soon. Hope you have a wonderful day. Aloha.